Today we will be making something really special, mooncakes. We are celebrating the Mid-Autumn Festival. This festival is kind of like the Spring Festival, where even though all tradition throughout China is different, there's one thing that all families have. It's a family reunion. And always, it's followed with moon watching. And the most important thing that everybody eats is moon cake. Back in my mom's childhood, there was only one flavor for the mooncakes. But now, there are multiple different flavors to choose from at stores. Today, we will be making red bean paste flavors. We will need 6 grams of um, base, 2 grams of salt, two grams of water, 300 grams of flour, 60 grams of odorless oil, odorless oil, kneading flour, kneading flour, 150 grams of honey, red bean paste, paste sweetened, sweetened paste, and three different molds that you will like. Different ones. The thing we're going to make first is base water. You mix this 6 grams of base with the 2 grams of water. And you mix until the water seems like it's normal water and the base is basically dissolved in it. Like this. Now we're gonna mix the honey with the oil, base water, and salt. So first, we're gonna add the oil in. Wait, wait a second, you. Wait a second. And then the base water. And finally, the salt. Now mix. Okay, let, let me uh, try it. You have to mix it until it is completely dissolved. All the things are bunched up together. Now we're going to mix the flour with this mixture of honey. And you want to actually pour the flour in three times at different times. So we're going to add the first batch. I want to mix it. And what you want to do is you want to actually have the flour it's not like you want to whisk it you want to lift turn you want to turn it yes you want to lift it mix it up and then can i do it please you can do it on the second one Okay, now it's like this first mixture. First time is everything in. Now, does anybody have an extra spatula? Uh, let me see. We get the second act in. I'm gonna let Calvin do it. You're not whisking it. No, you're also not doing it like that. You are supposed to pick it up and then put, put, it, put it back on yourself. 
with more motion. You can, Mia can show it to you first. Now you're whisking it. So what you're doing is you, you, got, you, you got to do this. Oh, Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me just finish this one and then you guys can do the last one. It's got like peanut butter. Mm -hmm. looks like. Okay, now so, the final batch. No, you gotta add all of that in. No, you gotta mix it like that. Yeah. Oh. Well, you don't wanna let it let the flour fly everywhere. You don't want the flour to fly everywhere. Alright, I me up. There's water. You can press down something. Finish it. <laughs> Doughy. Not so much dough. Now that the mixture is done, you want to get it on a mat. You want to get it smooth. I want to do it. I want to do it. Yeah, you do have to get it smooth. <coughs> not like that. You want to get it smooth. You're, you're, you're not making it bigger. You want to make it smoother. So, I, oh, I know. Alright, let me uh, try. Well, no, that's also not what you're doing. You need to make it have, have no cracks in it. Like, oh. 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 You're also not slapping it. Slap the butt! Also, I think we made it a little bit too big, so then we have to make it taller. Slap the butt. Wait, I want to try. No, don't don't pick it up. Ah, because once it's in station, you don't want to pick it up, or it's gonna rip everything. Okay, okay, okay. It's done. No, not yet, because you picked it up. Oh, in the hand. Now someone wants to go get something to cover it. Nothing. I... But... Yep, this is how you want this. And now you just want to basically remove the air from it for one hour to two hours, but not too long. Like, not two hours, or two nope. hours, 30 minutes, or three hours. No, three hours is something. And let it, leave it there for one to two hours. Now we'll be making the mooncake. So, let's take I want this one. You, got, you guys can open this. No, open. Open see Sam. No. We actually don't need the mold right now. Uh -huh. So that's ready. 
and then everyone get some kneading flour on your hands. Like only. Like you don't want too much, just a little bit, and on your hands. So then like this we, much. Yeah, we got add the kneading flour to the, but not that much to. To the poop. To the paste. Poop. Oh, that is too much. You gotta put some back. It, also on the left hand. It's still too much. You just don't want to stick your hand, and now we cut this in half. This should be around 40 grams, like this half of like this. Yep, it's 40 grams exactly. And then now we want to put this as, we want to rub it at, into a circle. Let's so here. It has a this good, has good. a little bit too much flour on it. So these should be all around 40 grams. So let's get more. What the? What do you mean more? Uh, what? Okay, that's a little bit too much, but it's Too fine. much poop. Okay, just put that right here. Split it first. And now we're gonna work on the actual casing of these. So, I'm gonna cut off a little piece and see how much it weighs. We also want this part to be around 40. Okay, that's 90, that's too much. Half. Cut in half. Yep, that's fine. This also in a sphere. And then I can push this flat. N not the other ones. Not those yet. Those should not be flat. So they're like a circle poop. This can probably have a little more on it. Yep. So you guys keep doing the. Yeah. Is this good? Yep. And then you gotta make that into a circle. And then we wrap this around it. And watch how I move it up. I don't cover it. I'm, I push the flower, the flower from the bottom up. Yeah, if it's getting sticky, you, you can put some um, kneading flour. But not too much. Oh, not on the thing, but on your hand. Ooh, potato. You wanna make it flat? Yeah. You yep. do the flattening, yeah. I'll just do the rolling. This is probably too much, but let's see. Yeah, too much. Yep, this is good. Now make that into a circle. Here you go, potato. Yep, just put that there and put that into a circle now. Yeah. Yeah. I think this one's too soggy. No, it's fine. It's just, if it's sticky to your hand, yeah. put knee power. Yep, but you don't want these like cracks in it. You can add a little bit more kneading flour if you think it's getting too much. I need to get some. No, no, too bad. Then you can add more too. How much are this combined? Yep, that's fine. Okay, Kelvin, you can do more. Mm, so Actually, much. wait a minute for it. You can, you can get, you, you can do that one. Yeah, this is. And now we can use the mold. I'm going to try the fish mold. 
you want to put the side that's like smoother, like under, so then this way it makes a better shape. And you want to gently push it around to all the corners. I want this fish. But you got to create it first. Is this a good one? Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's good. Take the smaller one. Make sure there isn't that much cracks or it's going to explode. Now leak the stuff out. Make sure. I think I have my fish. Now we just want to do this. Oh, and what? there's a fish with a little bit of extra on the side, but it's fine. There's know. the fish. And then now, yeah. oh, you don't want to press the that guy. You want to like push the bottom. I home. want the fish. Yeah, 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 but you're not finished with this one yet. You want to cover everything. Hmm, very good, Calvin. Okay, you want another fish one? Yay! Now you put it in, huh? but... Ah! On, squish it? No, you want to gently, very gently squish it. Very gently. So that way you don't have any cracks on it. Is this good enough? Yeah, that's pretty good. Did you gently do it? Yes. Now you just to press those into the cracks to fill them in. So like this? Yes. Yep, keep doing now it. You, you don't want to like, well now, are, is it finished? Now you just want. Now you can just do this. Uh, you you no just slam room. it on the ground. No, no, you gotta keep pushing. Oh. Well, you don't want to slam it onto the ground. You want to have. You want to tilt it onto the ground so it comes up. up. Yes, like that. Yay! Fish. <laughs> Let's see if it's There it is. If you you don't want to like push it on in. You want to that's way too tiny. You want to like push the bottom flower up. Look, you have so much flower here. Zero. Yeah, that's good. Fifty one. Forty seven. Yeah, that's enough. That's perfect. Is this okay? Maybe. We could try. Oh, give, give me the fish one. You could try that. Yeah, I think it's too big. Okay, there's a little bit of it. Could add a little bit. That is way too big. Also, there's no kneading file on this. Why do you need kneading file on it? So it doesn't stick. To this? Well, it doesn't stick to your hand. More yeah, that's good. Fish. You want to do it this time? So this one's smoother, so I'll put it on by. Now gently press it. It's too small. No, it's fine. Just 
or don't press it that hard or it will cause like cracks. If it, it's fine if it doesn't cover the entire thing. Just make, just try. What if you eat it like this with a cupcake? Well, you could try it. Making molds like that would be really hard. Why? No, you don't want you to do that. You want to tilt it and then put it down. And then it's like... Yeah. What the... Um... No, keep going, you're good. Dude! But this can be... Very nice. But it's too little. Well, it was close to 30. All we need is around 40. Like, 49? Here's your dough. Okay. While you guys do this, I'll go preheat the oven to uh, 350 Fahrenheit. That's actually a lot. 200 degrees? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or you don't want to slam it, you want to gently do it. Is this good? Look, right now it looks like a usual thing. Can I do it? Yes! Well, yeah, like... Wait, do you want to? Yeah. Let me just get this taken off. Here. What you want to do is push mm -hmm. these up. Oh. And you don't want cracks. Okay. No, not like that. You're look, you're squeezing it. You want to squeeze it at the final step, like this. Wait, what if we made red bean paste and then inside is the dough? Okay, so which this is the smooth part. Now, very gently. You slam it very well. No, not not on the side. I know not. Also, not like oh. Uh, I mean, it did come out. So. What? Okay. Now we're gonna add one egg yolk to the almost finished moon cakes. So are we like everybody's three things? Are we gonna add it for everybody's three yeah. things? So what the egg yolk is for? is to make the ending product uh, shiny? Sh shiny, yes, shiny. 
Yeah. Not too much, not too much, not too much. That is too much. A little. See, that is a little bit too much. And now me. Okay, that's too little. But she fine. gets the whole fish line. Three fishes, three fishes. And that's the egg yolk. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. What do you want to do? Seven minutes. Seven to eight minutes. But once the seven to eight minutes are up, you want to look at the color of the mooncake and if it's golden then that means it's ready but if it's not then you may want to add a few more minutes after the seven minutes we put it on for 18 minutes because it didn't seem ready yet and we stayed on 18 minutes for about 12 more minutes until it was done now it's done you must take it out Mm, it's really good. Mooncakes are actually better two days after you you uh, you take it out of the oven because the oil comes out of the duck and makes them softer than it is right now. Happy May Autumn Festival! <laughs>